गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन सॉल्विंग इन्वायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स डू यू फॉलो चिल्ड्रेन हेल्प टू रिजॉल्व द इन्वायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स हेयर आर अ फ्यू एक्टिविटीज दे परफॉर्म डेली गिव सम गिव दम सम पॉइंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर कंट्रीब्यूशन इन रिजॉल्विंग द ह्यूमन ब्रॉड हैव वॉक ऑन अर्थ you can use the following points scheme to find out the children who is contributing more than others in resolving environmental problems now for excellent five points any kind of contribution then one point for good contribution four point and no contribution zero point so the first condition is radha opens window curtains and ventilation buildings during day time she makes use of natural light so in this first situation we should give five points because this is good to save electricity and to use the natural light second point arhan has reduced the use of tv and music system to the barest minimum this is also good we should uh, reduce the use of this these all things to the merest minimum because it will affect the environment and our mental health also so this is five point we should give now during the uh, winters this gazal overheats water in the geyser so this is not good if you are using uh, uh, geyser during the winter season you should heat the water only adverse the requirement param uses heaters for long time when it is very cold so this is not very good habit you should not because it will affect your body in some other ways radha asks her bus driver not to honk when it is not needed she says it leads to headache tension and makes her irritable this is good and this is correct also we should not uh, means uh, encourage all these things to honk the horn without need then arhan does not throw ice cream cups and sweets wrapped around if where there are no dust bin it has bring them home and throws them into the dust bin so this is a very good habit and this is a very good contribution in the nature so this is five point we should give param asks his mother not to use washing machine as it uses up lots of water so this is good also and uh, we should uh, uh, not um, remove the com- things completely from our household so we should give four then gazal always buys over packed goods this is good because this will enhance the safety and security of that particular item and uh, we should encourage the packed goods so that the well a proper maintained item should reach to us radha always asks her father to replace cfl locker room to tube light as she does not like cfl at all it may be the problem cfl light may not keep that much cool light tube but tube light is very good in this regard so we should uh, always use tube light and good light for our eye health Gazal asks her parent not to use chemical cleaner and AC for cleaning tiles. A lot of things we pour down and drain to pollute water. If we will use chemicals to clean the tiles from our floor, it will go directly to the drain system to the water. And when it will go there, it will hard it will harshly affect the uh, habitats of the animals which are staying in the water, living in the water. Param has reduced the operating time of household electrical appliances to the minimum possible. This is a very good habit. We should not use the electrical appliances very much uh, because it will uh, just create the laziness in our body. So it has been reduced. It is very good. Arhan does not pass on his old textbook to young students. So this is not good. We should pass our old textbooks to the uh, young students so that they can read it and they can use it again now this was the lesson number 16 now come to the lesson number 17 only we have to know the facts in this
स्ट्रेंज हैबिट्स स्ट्रेंजर बर्ड्स हेयर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग रीड अबाउट स्ट्रेंज लुकिंग बर्ड एंड देयर हैबिट्स हॉट इज इन फ्रॉम नॉर्दर्न एंड सेंट्रल साउथ अमेरिका नोन एज स्टिंक बर्ड और स्टंक बर्ड फॉर इट्स अनप्लीजेंट ऑर्डर मीन्स द स्मेल ऑफ दिस बर्ड द स्मेल इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस बर्ड इज नॉट गुड सो दिस इज द नोन एज स्टिंक बर्ड और स्टंक बर्ड फॉर इट्स अनप्लीजेंट ऑर्डर काकापो the new zealand known as a heavy oil out faced flightless nocturnal parrot that mates only 3 times in the 10 years so this is the owl faced parrot and this nocturnal means it can see in the night also now long welted umbrella bird now in this from the Eudor or to Colombia known for the large crest that hangs down over its beak and the wattle that hangs down from its chest one long wattle that will hang from its chest and due to this its name is long vault vertex umbrella bird it is on page number 26 you open your book and you can see now Rhinoceros hornbill Rhinoceros hornbill from southeast asia from southeast asia known for its large bill and a curled reddish orange horn about above it that is used to amplify the bird's call you can see in your book the long shell like structure is being made on the head of this bird that is to amplify the sound which it creates now twiny frog mouth from australia known as known for a mouth that resembles that for frog but is surrounded by the whiskers that helps it to catch insect flying by so this is used to catch the insect which is flying nearby now students thank you for today's class and in the next class i will discuss lesson number 18 and 19 also